required for entrepreneurial success and wealth creation. That's a big goal. But thinking big is what drives the, the true entrepreneur and the entrepreneurial spirit. And that is why Jill is a true entrepreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 recipient of the New Jersey Chamber's Alice H. Parker Women Leaders in Innovation Award, Jill Johnson. We can have a whole lot of betters that right now 
are just not possible because we are not fully included. And that is why, and I will share this, uh, you heard in, in my bio the term historically excluded population. We do not use the term minority, underserved, etc., mm. because we want to call attention to where the problem really exists, which is in historical exclusion. I really want to... Um, mm. <laughs> We, you know, we, we thought long and hard about the different issues that exist. Um, and I think it's really important for organizations like the Chamber um, to recognize people who don't often get recognized. And for me, this recognition, you know, it's, it's nice to be recognized. It's nice for my name to be called. That's great. I like to see, you know, a little the statue with my name on it that is terrific and it feels really good. But I'm excited about the recognition because it's recognizing the work that we do day in and day out to change what currently exists because it's just not acceptable where we are today as a country. Um, it recognizes all of the people who, you know, as a nonprofit, we call on a lot of people to support the work that we do. Right now we have over 800 people volunteering with us that grew um, in, uh, in 2019 to today, uh, again, you know, over 800 people as part of our volunteer community who are volunteering their professional skills to support small businesses. That's a big deal. That's a lot of resources. We have, um, uh, you know, also our, our business owners um, who have been through, you know, the things that they've been through sharing their experiences with others so that people can really understand the challenges in being an entrepreneur who has limited resources and who has been historically excluded. So I really, again, want to thank all the people who have come out here today to support me. That's why, um, you know, last night I called up a bunch of folks and said, hey, can you come and join me? That's when I figured out that I could actually invite people to this. Um, <laughs> Um, but I'm so glad that so many of you joined because I really wanted you to be here to share in this award uh, with me as a recognition of what you all have actually put into our organization to make the difference and to create the impact that we are creating every day. I do want to give a special shout out and thank you to my husband, um, who, like Dan, I will not say allows, but, you know, it, it, it really is a thing of, of support because if you do not, you know, this work is hard and oftentimes it takes a lot of effort. You may not be getting paid as much as you would be getting paid in some other big position, but it's work that is necessary. And if someone does not do it, you know, I figure if it's not me, then who? And it's up to each one of us to make a difference in the way that we can. So I do thank my husband uh, for all of his support. Um, in helping me to be able to do the work that I do. Again, thank you all of you so much. Thank you to the Chamber. Marjorie, you have been such a leader in this field for so many years of just standing up and speaking out and being that voice. So I want to recognize that and give you your kudos as well. So everyone, thank you so much.